This sculpture has been around for many years and has a huge history. I don't really know much about it, but this lady does. Constructed in 1992, Anamiki, Ojibwe for Thunderbird, is among one of the city's first commissioned works of public art. The sculpture's main portion is a representation of a Thunderbird with outstretched reflective wings. Inspiration for the piece came from the pre-industrialization of the Kaministiqua River, and the sculpture helps emphasize the revitalization of the waterway. And what I wanted to do was to find a way of actually not uniting the community because the community was probably already united, but of drawing together different parts of it. And I thought I could do this partly by geographical references. This comes out partly in the text that's engraved around the seating uh, of the sculpture. But a bird itself can fly from place to place. And so it was this image of a flight and a flight that meant connections between different parts of Thunder Bay that I, I think inspired me. So it is a bird, but it is a Thunderbird. And the Thunderbird travels between Monobozo, between Sleeping Giant and, and Mount McKay and across the river with three miles. So it was a perfect image of gathering together various elements of the landscape of Thunder Bay. Now you know a little bit more about this magnificent sculpture and how it brought the community of Fort William together. And these were installed by workers from Thunder Bay, whom I met, by the way, at about 5 a.m. one um, dark morning at a McDonald's um, and asked if they would help me install the stone. And I said, oh yes, very interested, but it's moose season. And so um, we had to take time off first for moose hunting to go on. 